talking about being unconventional and something that is very conventional are recipes. People stick to them, they are afraid to color outside the lines and some of the best recipes I've ever created have been from taking chances and just kind of being a little bit unconventional in the kitchen. My guest today, Latisse, loves Italian food but is afraid that many of her favorite dishes are unhealthy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, when you see something on the menu, you get scared to order it because you know it's so fattening? True, yes. Well, yes. So one of the really fattening recipes is pasta carbonara. It's on a lot of Italian yes. menus. It's very decadent, it's rich, it has cream, it has eggs, it has butter, and it's something to be slightly terrified about. So how I renovated this recipe is we boiled whole wheat pasta, okay? We take the pasta out, I'll let you do it. Okay. Take the pasta out with yes. the tongs and put it in here. It's okay that it's got some of the liquid on it because we're gonna use that to make this sauce spread a little. Sometimes the, the fattening is like the, the Alfredo sauce, the carbonara sauce, it's so thick and gloppy that if you use the pasta water attached to the pasta, it kind of goes a long way. The flavor of the sauce goes a long way. You don't need it to be so thick. This recipe has um, Parmesan cheese, which great, really fine, and it's a strong flavor, so you gotta keep the Parmesan cheese. You can't cut everything out. The Parmesan cheese is important. Okay. This recipe has, has eggs, okay? You're keeping your whole eggs, okay. so put your eggs in here. Awesome. Okay, you're gonna mix your eggs in. Awesome. Now here, these recipes have heavy cream. So immediately say, I don't need heavy cream. You don't want total fat. You could use low fat milk, you could use soy milk. Mm -hmm. So we're putting the milk in. And that's where the pasta water, the starch, is kind of gonna thicken up the milk to make it more like a cream. You can mix that, that around, yep. Yeah. This is garlic salt. You could use fresh garlic, but a lot of times we don't have time. So garlic salt is one of the things I keep in a cabinet just for a quick, quick recipe and pepper. And there's a little crushed red pepper for your spice. And then butter. If it has a certain amount of butter, cut that amount in half. And if it's not good, then you add. You can always add. Look how creamy that is. Okay, carbonara's main ingredient that gives it the flavor is bacon. Yes. So I've used turkey bacon instead of regular bacon. You could also use veggie bacon, okay? So we're gonna mix all this together. It's super, super easy. And look, I mean, I'm gonna show you over here, but look just how rich and creamy this dish is, okay? And let's go taste. Come, come, we can taste these two. Here's your fork, Thank here's you. mine, okay. And I used whole wheat pasta too, because it's healthier, make changes in, in certain places. It's fantastic. Not great. Mm. How good right. is that? It's Amazing. so, so good. Would your family love spicy. this? spicy. It's got a little zip. Spicy. That is fantastic. You gotta add spice, you gotta add flavor. You yes. gotta keep the flavor, but get rid of the fat. The original recipe for pasta carbonara has 779 calories, 28.8 grams of fat. My recipe has 373 calories and 16 grams of fat. Woo! That's great. It's amazing. This recipe is in my book, Skinny Girl Dish. Take your favorite recipe, throw out convention, renovate it.